All right, we're going to play now some Jace Shadow. So let's jump into a league here. Probably not too many matches as I'm going to be... I just have to get to work, but... I mean, that was, that was like, not a terrible 3-2 considering we played against a bunch of, like, degenerates. We played against two Tron decks and two Ponza decks, which... You know, what are you going to do? Motion Thief is an amazing bullet against Jace. I'm not... I, I, traversing for Notion Thief sounds a little too situational. Do we click on the right one? I hope we did. There it is. <clears throat> I basically just poured it over the other deck, except I added... I changed the fetch lands a little bit. I put two Misty Rainforests in, and I added a, another Watery Grave and a Breeding Pool. Oh, this is where the excitement is. I think this deck has a chance to, like... I have no idea how to build this. Like, I talked about this here, and this will be a more... Because I'm not double... I'm not multitasking quite as much. But I wrote about this here. And, like... This deck here... I think has a chance to... While I don't have any idea how to build it... it I think it's got the most chance to be, like... Out of this world. Because, like... Jace is an offensive card in this deck. Jace is like, bounce your dude on four, kill you. As well as being able to pull you back into games. Uh, yep, yeah, we, we'll keep this one. It's not great, but we have a discard spell, our opponent's mulliganing. We have removal, we have a discard. We, have, we can basically play anything. We can do the bobble trick here, so we have delirium on one. Title. Yeah, so we're going to kill that thing in a heartbeat. We're probably going to bolt it. And depending on what's on top, we'll be in a lane. Because I'd like to get a... Um, I probably have to... I actually might have to push it because we might need green mana to death shadow. we got to get rid of that. So yeah, I'm actually going to have to get overgrown tomb. Because I can't get stopping ground. Because if I had to operate on one, off one land, the best way to do that is with black green. So let's get this overgrown tomb. Cycle for some for some knowledge. Okay, there's a land, which makes me feel great. Push this. I'd like to bolt it, but such is life. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, the, Jace is a good stuff. Magic card. Yeah, we're gonna have to discard. We're gonna, is this guy, we have another guy that's playing like all this crap. All right, let's look here before we do anything. What? All right, I think I'm just gonna ditch. I think we're just gonna sift through all of these. Um. I actually have to go get Blood Crypt because this doesn't fetch me a red source. So this is going to be painful, but I'm going to get this Blah Lightning out of the way. So I can just bolt the Ball Lightning and I can ditch the Blood Braid Elf. Ooh, this doesn't get me. Oh, shoot. Oh, I only have one red source in my deck. So this is where this is where like we get a little, little difficult with the old deck building, but the, the Misty can get that. So I actually can just go get Watery Grave... And take a look here. I think we just take this ball lightning. And then we get ready to play Liliana next turn. And then just go up with it. And just get rid of all the cards in our opponent's hand. Okay, so they did rip. Okay. So now we probably want to go get a basic... Because if this elf comes down, though we can deal with this elf, I would like to. I think that I think I'm gonna fetch shock. No, I don't want to play around finding Jace that much. Like, let's just go like this. 
We're gonna ditch our battle rage. Cause like, now we can choose, depending on what we draw next turn, we can go get stomping ground or we can get uh, breeding pool. You only have red swords. Yeah, I probably should. That was a mistake on my part. That's why, that's part of the reason I added the Misty Rain Forces, because there's, you know, give me some more lands when I was like, I want to play the Stomping Ground, but it should be a Blood Crypt. They just the company. Okay. Miss. Miss. Looks like they missed. Oh, yeah. Now I don't even want to do anything with this. I could just tick up, discard this. And then I can just save this for whatever I need to do. I think that's what... Let's see. Let's see what goes on here. I'm going to ditch this Watery Grave. And then I'm going to play this Misty Rainforest and probably leave it uncracked. What is this? This is just like... Destroy target Jace.deck. The... And um and two two blood crypts or two blood stain myers. I'm just gonna leave this into play. Not gonna do anything with it yet, because he might moon us and then we wanna be able to fetch our green source. Okay. So that stops us from getting mooned, but I think it's worth just getting rid of all this stuff here. We can play around moon. Yeah, 2-2. Two, 4-4-2-2. Two, four, four, two, two. Okay, so they found a company. Let's hope our opponent doesn't get anything gross. I'm probably ulting this. Okay, so here comes the elf. Liliana should let us handle this Blood Ray Elf. So our elf's going to take... Liliana's going to take three. We're going to bolt this... And then we're going to discard spell the... And then we're going to Edict the Elf. I should wait. I, I'm, I'm moving too quickly. All right, we'll let him attack first. Because he might just send this Groundbreaker at... And then three and three. In which I should have waited. I, I was I was just thinking too quickly. And like gave them the option here. Which is my fault. Yeah, Electrolyze would be sick. Now he, now he knows what's up. And he's like, okay, what are you doing? I know what you're doing, man. And now we can't, unfortunately, we can't cast Jace if we draw it. But, like, such is life. I also, like, put myself to six. Okay, so that gets there. Now we eat it. We want to find a way to get on the battlefield. That's a way to get on the battlefield. So we go down. Just get the value out of that. And now we traverse for a death shadow. Yeah, so my opponent's just playing like some super trolly, like, we kill you. We killed like haste punish planeswalkers dot deck. What do we got? What do you got? Eternal Witness. All right, that doesn't really do anything. Noble. Okay. It sucks that we're cut off Jace. All right, we're no longer cut off Jace. Um, I think I'm gonna hold off. Yeah, I'm gonna fetch a, I'm gonna fetch a watery grave at the end of their turn. We just have, like, what are we looking for? We're looking for more... Sh we're looking to just things that play on the board. 
Come on, opponent. I want to do cool stuff. Hellspark Elemental, sure. So that's going to get rid of my uh, Liliana's, if he just chooses. So this goes at Liliana, this goes at Liliana. So now I'll just block this. Unfortunately. No, I did discarded. I did discard the other grave. We're going. We're going nuts. We're going nuts over here. Now, I'm still fetching because regardless, there's no difference between six and five. It looks like between what, like four matters because then Bloodbraid Elf has haste. So now we're looking for breeding pool into Jace. That would be the stones. So then maybe I should have waited. I think we're gonna start attacking. We're gonna like. I really want to start, because this is, I really don't want to just, like, sit here and be passive with an 8-8, eight eight. and they have cards like Bloodbred Elf and Collected Company, I kind of just want to end the game. They have so many draws that kill me, though, so now it's like, do we want to just put the pressure on, or do we want to play defense? I think I'm just going to play defense. Yeah. That was my mistake. If we can get another creature, we'll be able to start attacking. That's what we're looking for. My opponents, I'm going to just have to board out all my Planeswalkers against my opponent. Which is so sad. That's a good draw. So now we're going to get in. We're kind of insulated against Moon, which is sweet. <clears throat> I don't even know what kills us. I, like, I guess if he companies into, like, two dudes, then we're in trouble. 40 viewers, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. My name's Dylan Hovey, and I'm part of the uh, Card Hoarder Network. It's where the stream is brought to you by Card Hoarder. I appreciate everybody for... What is this? I mean, the other creatures on the battlefield, the other creatures with plus three, plus three. All right, so we just attack with both, block whatever happens, and then we, whenever that creature, yeah, so we just attack with both. God, what is everybody, everybody in there just trolly stuff? Alternatively, I guess I can attack with one. This gives him one draw step. Two, it lets me beat company. How do I beat everything? Block elf, take two. Elf into haste. All right, let's attack with one. I feel like we're so far ahead that we can. And if they don't, if they don't block this, yeah, yeah I'm, that's good that he did. Dude, this is so sad that I'm gonna have to board my Jaces out. I'm surprised he doesn't have a Dryad Arbor in this deck. He's got a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, begin sideboarding. So Planeswalker is gone, which is sad. Spot removal in. These brutalities probably come in because he's got mana dorks and it's like lets us take companies. I'm gonna assume this battle rage comes in. Maybe radiant flames. We can cut a land. We we'll probably cut this. Probably cut Watery Grave so we can keep the green source in. Do we want Radiant Flames? Like, do we want to just maybe board out like a Street Wraith or two? Maybe. We want to keep our discard. Our Radiant Flames. All these creatures die. Like, his whole deck is just like Haste Dude dot deck. I don't know. Don't want another just stubborn denial because he's got collected company and that's like the biggest blowout of all time. 
One's terrible versus the rest of his deck. Two's probably fine. I guess we can bring in one of these to clean up the crap. I'm going to go with this, because I'm going to want to mine my life total a little bit. <clears throat> Dude, I'm like, I literally have not played a matchup today in six matches where my Planeswalkers have shined. I think I can do better than this. One of Mulligans as well. This is better. I don't want that one. It might come a time when that's really good, but I do not think that time is now. I hope I don't get mooned. I'm going to feel like such an idiot if I... All right, that's great. Um, get rid of this so I don't get ball lightning or country crushered on two. This mana base has got to be the most disgusting thing of all time. I would just collective brutality that next turn, but I didn't want to just get like smacked early. I probably still should have just done that. I guess I was worried about Blood Moon, which is my my reservation. Let's take a look. Magus of the Moon. Firelit Thicket Stomping Ground. So my opponent has got all kinds of interaction. They want to sit here and play a fun game of Magic the Gathering with me. guy just literally cascades into anything. Alright, I'm going to leave this untapped, or uncracked for now, just to see what I want to do. Love to draw a discard spell to get that elf. Alright, I guess we can, well, anything that would have casted three, cost three, he would have done. So, I can take six, go to twelve, brutality away. He either has another Bloodbright elf, or a collected company. So let's go get an overgrown tomb. Let's get stomping ground. Get our red source. Let's hopefully let's hope we get a company here. If you drew another blood right now, that is gonna suck. And we just drew a land. Which I guess makes sense. And then we'll get this death shadow into play. Our opponent is going to elf us. Um, green, black. I don't know. Maybe they'll get like frisky. Get frisky and try to race this thing. I don't. I don't have any idea. Hopefully, they just don't get, get into like a blood moon. <clears throat> if they would have had more of those, though, they probably would have fetched for a green source there. They hit a countryside crusher. Huh. My opponent attacks with everything. I'm just going to kill him. Let's take nine. Death Shadow, we go to three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Battle Rage U. Battle Rage U. But after that, to Battle Rage U. Battle Rage you, Battle Rage you. The opponent fucked up by whatever deck they re registered. Alright. Come on, give me a matchup where I can, like, play magic. Where I can jace people out of the freaking game. This is all I want in life. All I want in life is to just brainstorm into a team or battle rage. That's really it. Like if I if I brainstorm into a team or battle rage, I might just like like I might just retire on the spot. I'm like, all right. It's good. It's good while it lasted. How do I sequence my lands? Jacing people out of the game isn't really playing magic. Getting to the point where you can jace somebody out of the game is playing magic, though, right? I'm gonna keep this. It is not great. We have, but like, I really just wanna find these. Like, I wanna. 
This is not an adult keep, but I can go like lightning bolt into Tarmogoyf. So. I'm not gonna crack my fetch lands unless I have to. Oh, jeez. No, I. Oh, my opponent's only gonna five, four? Jesus. No, I agree. Like, Jace is. I don't think this card should be in the format. I'm really afraid of what this is gonna do. I'm afraid that this is gonna. Like, Jace is going to make games become about, like, you have to fight on an access that interacts with Jace, or. You have to, like, play Jace, or you cannot play on an axis that interacts with Jace. I could Shadow. This is probably kind of fine. Unless he hits my land and then leaves me with two Jaces. Which he did. Oh, I deserve that. I deserve that. <laughs> oh god, I deserve this. Uh, what do we want to do next? Do I want to bolt myself? Now we're probably going to have to save that. If I find a fetch land, I can... I can just play a Death Shadow. Yeah, this is... You know, this is this is deserved. This is deserved. My opponent's probably going to beat me on a mulligan of four. I'm going to get Overgrown Tomb because it makes Traverse into a land... Yeah, this is the hollowed one deck. Um, like probably, I think I'm just gonna take faithless looting and like hope he misses. I don't know. <laughs> oh, dude, he had a burning inquiry. What a tilt! So he ditched Goblin Lore and Flame Wing Phoenix. He gets a blood. Okay. Well, at least we have to play a Death Shadow. Probably gonna fetch uh, Blood Crypt, and then well, now we're gonna well, I'm gonna fetch Blood Crypt, and if because if we get to this Jace, I'm gonna have my next couple spells or my next couple. Um, what was I gonna say? My next. I'm gonna, okay, so we have the stopping ground. We don't have the Blood Crypt. See, I even talk weird about it. Like, I'll get blue spells with my next couple ones. Or get blue lands with my next couple lands. Jesus Christ. I think it's important to just be online here. Yeah, dude, what a guy. LOL stopping ground. Yeah, we just had this conversation. <laughs> Look at this blood crypt. Yeah. All right, dude, get out of my face. Yeah. All right, I'm at 12. Traverse, play Death Shadow, 7, bolt my face, 10. I could just traverse for a land. That seems like an adult thing to do. Yeah, that seems super adulty. Should have done it off of my... Oh, man. I'm s literally just so excited for magic that I just cannot play right at all. That is literally how pumped we are. Doing this now just to play around a... Uh, lightning bolt. There's no need in playing the dance. Lightning bolt. What do you got, man? Show me the goods. Again, we played against another match. Oh, Jace is actually... I wonder if Jace is okay in this matchup. It's probably poor because of these Flame Wake Phoenixes. But if these Flame Wake Phoenixes aren't in play, like if you can just bounce Delve cards and Hollowed ones, they're gonna they're like they're gonna suck at doing what they're doing. Nasty Gur Masty. All right, you get in there. Huh? We don't have an instant in the graveyard.
could be bad. We could be in trouble. We didn't leave up our lightning bolt either. Okay. Because we don't have a way to deal with this old uh, nasty Gurmasty unless we draw a land for for the old the old mind sculptor. So I, do I want to push this now? I don't think there's any real point to pushing this. If we find a land, we kill them. If not, they chump block, and then we push this, we go to one. So yeah, let's find a land. Let's Jason. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh my god. We have 19 lands, Ninja Sprite. God, four mana vapor snag. Bing. <laughs> vapor snag does it better. <laughs> All right, so let's get these maelstrom pulses in because they hit his big dumb dudes. These fatal pushes are probably like kind of medium. These decays are kind of medium. This battle, I'm assuming the battle rage is great. These Lilianas probably aren't super good. Let's move away the cards we don't like. <clears throat> Again, I kind of want to play this Jace because, like, it's fucking Jace. It's kind of where I'm at in life. The Decays hit Blood Moons, which he'll have after sideboarding. God, we are short on ways to deal with Nasty Germasty. Yeah, I'm totally going to play these Jaces. Yeah. I'm totally going to bring keep playing. <laughs> it's just 100% wrong, but I'm going to bring these Jaces in. Uh, I could just bring the Fatal Pushes in to clear random garbage. Let's do it like this. Grudge seems okay. Yeah. Do I want it more than Fatal Push or Lightning Bolt? Lightning Bolt's probably, like, not... Lightning Bolt's actually probably better than Fatal Push. Stroke. You're saying because it, it... It counters his thing that he casts for zero? Oh, yeah. I could... I think I want to cut these stubs on the draw and bring them back in on the play. So let's try this, and then I'm going to rearrange my sideboarding. Yes, which we're not going to be. So let's. I'm going to rearrange my sideboard that includes these stubborn denials while I'm on the play because I can't get under a burning inquiry. <clears throat> yeah, dude, we got a Jace. Got to keep it. That's probably totally inaccurate. I'm bobbling them on one because I'm... Unless they just rearrange my hand completely. Just Faithless Looting. Dude, you got rid of my Jace, but I have another Jace. I'm cool with it. Double Blood Moon. Yes! Street Wraith. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. God, he didn't have it. All right, um... Fatal push, okay. I don't really care about that fatal push. Like, I want to discard spell this turn to hit a goblin lore. If if he gets to the point where he's... If we're playing the game where he starts fatal pushing my creatures, then I think I'm good. So this gets stomping ground. No, I probably... Yeah, see, this is where... If this was a blood crypt, I'd be all set, because now all my black sources are going to be freaked up. But we're going to start off with this one. All right, just get rid of one of them. Like he probably just 
loots away. Now he's going to loot away at least one of these flame white phoenixes. So this is like, we just have to make sure that we can deal with... Oh, we knew about that one. I should have waited in the, until after they drew. Just used uh, bobble mechanics. I would have known another card. That's like when I'm used to doing it, but you shouldn't. You should wait until after they draw. Which was not a good play on my part. Okay, so he ditches double Phoenix. Don't do it, man. There's a blood gas that comes back. Wow, you just missed. Okay. So we draw. Okay, so he still has. Flooding out a little bit. So we just, we basically have to hope that our opponent doesn't hit. There's the Bloodstained Mire. They played that. We're going to hope our opponent doesn't hit like a Hollowed One or a Delve card. Because their graveyard's large enough where they can play through a Jace Bounce of a Delegate. Did I get an Angler? There's the Arid Mesa. Okay, so they're just playing the Phoenix. Okay. Okay. All right, there's no need in going hog wild with our life total. This will get us an overgrown tomb. I'd like to see a Tarmogoyf. All right, so I can just play two one ones. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Then we'll play a fetch land. Quit our stubs would be sweet. Then we can stub this fatal push and be in good shape. Okay, so now he's just going for this. And if he just, like, if he gets a hollow one in play and cracks us for, like, a million, then we just bounce the hollow one and kill our opponent. Because we only need, like, if he deals, if he gets both of these Flame White Phoenixes back somehow, did he ditch the fatal push? No. But he ditched a hollowed one. That seems weird. So this has to attack. Oh, well, you got to attack with it. He already played his land. Okay, so we take this. So he's got... I think we're putting this into play... We're getting this into play tap. Actually, no. Fetch shock... Fetch shock. Oh, he just lets us win? Okay. All right, we're going to do one more, and then I'm going to head out to work. I don't know what was going on there from our opponent, but, like, you know, whatever they're going to do. I haven't done this yet this stream, so let's move back here. Again, thank you, everybody, for being here today. My name is Dylan Hovey. You want it on my stream. I'm sponsored by Gamer Craze, which is a store in upstate New York that I learned to play Magic. They have very good prices on singles as they foster like a college environment. Great store. If you're up there. They're going to have their online sh uh, shop launch quickly. The stream is also brought to you by Card Hoarder. Or Card Hoarder. They're the best bot chain in the business. Their podcast is amazing. They are best for the community. And you can always find archives of this stream on YouTube. And if you want to interact with me about Magic, you should check my Twitter. My YouTube page is linked below. Oh, I need to get back on to the right thing over there. Okay, I would like to play first. Uh, I will keep my hand. I've got turn one delirium with an old stubby up. Stub, 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 stub. We're definitely going to lead off. 
Overgrown Tomb. I don't think we want that. Though we might want it if we have Jason's in our deck. Like, you know, that's something that, you know, we, we've got to think about. Like, if we Street Wraith into a Jace, we would have wanted that. So we get to stub something here. All right, so we got our lands. So we don't want any more lands. We don't need any more of those. Okay, so we're playing against Amulet Titan. Enough. Okay, we're gonna get Overgrown Tomb. We're gonna hold up this. We have the second land there, so let's get them in the green source. We have the stub in case they want to go like amulet into bounce land so that we can at least get the amulet. But we are just kind of like running naked here, like we don't have a lot going on. What could this be? Well, we guess we're just gonna let that go. As we get to counter something here. That's not a bad draw. So let's, let's just take a Titan. Um, do we care about Azusa? I think I care about this Ancient Stirrings, and I'm going to stub this Explore. And then I'm going to... Uh, if they play the Azusa, they play the Azusa. But they're not really doing anything with it. They're kind of out of resources a little bit. And we're putting a good clock on them. And if they want to cast this Azusa, it's going to cost them some gemstone mines there. Or they're going to cast them some counters on this thing. So let's get rid of this. Ancient Stirring's okay. So they have Azusa in hand. Simic Growth Chamber. So they're going to be able to do a bunch of stuff with Bounce Lands. A Jace would be sweet here to Fate Seal them. We can kind of Fate Seal them. Take a look at what they're drawing. Okay, they're drawing a bounce land. So they're going to have all their mana online. What we're looking to do is find a battle rage or a jace so that we can play with all the time. That's going to make it so their Azusa has the chump lock. <clears throat> so now they just Azusa... I mean, we know everything. So yeah, play your dude. So the Gruel Turf's the last card that they have. They've been bounced there. So now we're worried about Primeval Titan. Okay, so now he's got a block. You have one turn. Our counter spells will be good here after sideboard. I think we still keep Jason. One, two. One, two, three. Does he have a slaughter pact? Don't slaughter pact me. All right, I conceded. <laughs> okay, so I think I bring all my counter magic. Um, I like early removal for the dude. I kind of like collective brutality. I'm a, kind of a fan of Radiant Flames also because it cleans up like a bunch of their dumb tokens. And I have way too much to bring into this matchup that I don't know what to do. So brutality is probably too slow on the draw. Slaughter Pack does say non-black. Yep. Yep. If I ever, like, I would have gone, I always, I always, like, lead the tournament in asking the judge questions. I want to just leave my Jaces in. I want to just, like, I want to see what happens. I know I want these. I know I want this. I think I want some removal. Not a lot. Decay is nice because it deals with... Dang... Liliana might be too slow on the draw, but then, like, if I'm saying Liliana's too slow, then Jace is too slow. But, like, I don't care. I want to play my Jace. I want to see if the Jace is, like, can you leave Jace in a matchup like this? Does that actually make sense? 
you know? I don't know. Um, probably can cut one traverse as they'll have bogs after sideboard. The game is going to slow down for sure. Maybe I want to cut like two traverses because they have Bajoku Bog and Relic. Yeah, this, like, I, I don't, maybe want Disdainful Stroke because it counters Primeval Titan and Hornet Queen. Yeah, let's go, let's get rid of, I want to get like some number of these cards in here because of Hornet Queen. Maybe I don't want all my Stubborn Denials. Those, those are just counter packs though, which is so big. Um, all right, whatever. We'll cut one, Jace. I just want to leave. I just want to see like, is this is this a card that I can leave in in a combo matchup and play like a very lean, tight game, exhaust them of resources, and then just like clean up, you know, like empty my hand, interact, 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 Jace. Like, I wonder if that. I wonder if that's something you can do. So this hand's pretty good, as long as we don't get smacked by, like, the one-drop put a guy into play on turn one. Yeah, I don't think it is either. Yeah, I don't think it is either there, um, Ashoth. I don't think it's very good, but, like, can you... They put a card on the bottom, so they have an engineered explosive. But can you, like... How do I say this? Like... Is it a strategy with Death Shadow to play one or two uh, one drops, or we'll play a bunch of like small stuff with interaction, and then you know play the Death Shadow game, play that lean game, and then all of a sudden on four slam Jace and then clean everything up? Like I, I don't know. All right, I don't really want to play Tarmogoyf into this engineered explosives though if they explosives for two i do get to just blow it up so i think actually i am yeah. um let's get this fetch land out because it's, it's the worst one yeah jace is super slow you know like I, I i agree i agree we're more or less just playing it to like here is the game plan you know this is actually nice because it's going to turn on stubborn denial for us because we'll go like abrupt decay this um Engineer explosives. They could have. Oh, they could have an Azusa. Yeah, that's bad. I didn't think about that. Okay, so we can get prime time this turn. So let's go. Let's. Right, we have breeding pool. We have plenty of these in our deck. So let's go like this. I think I'm gonna hold up. Stubborn denial to denial like a the whatever it is the engineered explosives or to um just to deal with or, or get a pact i'm gonna bring the brutalities into the play the mana base has been fine yeah so this is why so he's gonna be able to now ee us but we have got to get rid of these um, we have plenty. I guess we have another non-black source. And also, like Ashot, there's there's more there's more to it. I think I'm gonna bring the brutalities in on the uh, on the play. I don't like them on the draw because they don't kill the one drop guy before he starts like doing his thing. Giant two four. He doesn't have another Titan. He's on Azusa. So he's got Azusa engineer explosives. E, e Okay. Boros Garrison. Okay, so he's got... Okay, he just plays it. So now he's playing off the top. So this is nice because we can play our own Death Shadow. And this... Oh, this actually gets it active. That's cool. Hopefully he pops it. That would be very good for us if he popped it. Oh, I mean, I, I, I get that, but it, I think it's too slow. I think it's too slow on the draw. I really dislike Collected Company deck, or, or really dislike Brutality against those kind of decks when you're on the draw. Like, it's just like a personal preference of mine. 
I can't really describe it besides that. If that makes any sense. I'm going to hide this stomping ground. Maybe they're going to think that we don't have it. But this makes our death shadow larger. I'm kind of surprised that our opponent 2-4 didn't just wait. Didn't Because like what is this Azusa doing besides going nuts with Primeval Titan? Which Primeval Titan's already amazing. Explore shirt. That's what I think, but I do like it on the play. Like, if I'm ahead and I go, like, Thoughtseize, take a card, they play the little moron, then I can go, like, oh, baby. One, two. So they would have played Primeval Titan if they could have. All right, we're going to look for a Stubborn Denial. Well, I should do this right, because I don't care if this, Jace, this this thing comes at me. And then we're just going to brainstorm into a Stubborn Denial. You think you plus Jace. Okay, because you're going to assume that this isn't a Primeval Titan. Okay, that makes sense. Because if this was a Primeval Titan, um, yes, they would have just played it if it was a Titan. Why block here? Because you can't beat Battle Rage anyways. Put this on the bottom, no. So now, like, if they if they drew Hornet Queen last turn, then we're in trouble. GG's. All right. Dex felt great, but none of that is because of Jace, really. Like, I mean, we've drawn Jace, and, like, Jace bounced the creature... So let me move back here, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be done with this, and I'm going to go to work here. So let's just move back here while I finish up my stream. Um, so, like, we saw what Jace... We, we have not seen Jace pull us back from, like... Like, what I want Jace and Bloodbright Elf for is I think that it can fix a very specific problem with Death Shadow, which is where you just peter out and die, okay? Like, you just don't have... You have that thing with without Snapcaster and Colagon's command... You just, like, don't have that power to keep going. And I want Bloodbright Elf and Jace to be that power. We saw Jace. What I really like about this deck is that it is a Jace deck that is just trying to kill people. It is low to the ground, and, like, you're Jacing to kill people. You have an offensive brainstorm. You can bounce creatures to push through your shadows. You can plus to, like, okay, I've got you on board. Let's see what's on top of your deck. I think that... I think that this deck here, or this shadow version, whether it's Grixis or Jund, if you can figure out how to incorporate Jace into your game plan, is incredibly powerful. I have no idea how to do that. No idea. Like I said, in this stream, 100% boarded, sideboarded wrong on purpose, so that I could just have Jace in my deck. Because A, Jace is really cool. And B, it's it, it could we don't know. Like, we don't know if this card breaks Death Shadow wide open. What it could do is fix an inherent problem Death Shadow has, which is what I want to find out. I think that these I think that these decks are so inherently powerful and lean on their own that with the help of Jace and with the help of Bloodbright Elf, they could be busted. And that's what I that's what I want to know. I'm not like who everyone knows that Jun's gonna be good. Everyone knows that blue white is going to be great. Everyone knows that there's going to be aggro decks and combo decks that are trying to just get underneath you. You know, we want to figure out if Jace the Mind Sculptor and Bloodbraid Elf break this this deck here. And that's what I'm going to look forward to doing in the next two or three weeks. I hope you all show up to check it out with me. Um, I appreciate everyone for showing up and hanging out. If you guys like what you see. Please hit the follow button. Um, check out my sponsors here. Gamer Craze will have their their um, their shop all set and soon. And I hope that you guys, all of you guys, have a really great rest of your day. And 
tweet at me. Tweet at me ideas. How do we how do we bust this wide open? So, all right. See you guys later.